5,000 metres high on a plateau in the Andes is the Quelquea Glacier. When it melts, the water feeds into a network of streams and rivers below. But the world's largest tropical glacier is shrinking, and it's having a dramatic consequence for the water supply. Peru definitely faces the consequences of climate change, and water is the issue where we have more work to do. That's because we still rely heavily on hydroelectric power, which faces a lack of water, and that may lead to some difficulties in the future. Peru gets around 40% of its electricity from hydroelectric power, most of all from the meltwater of the quickly shrinking glaciers. Freddy Saavedra is a chief engineer at the Machu Picchu hydroelectric power station. During dry periods, the power station relies heavily on this glacial water source. With the retreat of all these glaciers and ice caps, the amount of water melting is a lot less, so much less that our production is diminished due to the reduced amount of water. The shrinking glaciers are also a problem for Peru's desert coastal regions, home to over 70% of the population. People living in poorer districts on the outskirts of Lima have to make do without electricity or running water. Water is expensive and scarce, and they often have to make a choice between water and food. It's the only truck that comes here, and sometimes they don't even come and we don't have water for 15 to 20 days. The icy water sources in Peru's highlands have been the subject of extensive research, but so far scientists haven't been able to stop the glaciers disappearing. We're kind of here and now people. We react to things that are happening today, and we're not very good at, at reacting to things that are going to come in the future. And uh, these glaciers, they have no political agenda. They're just summing up what's happening in the natural world. And all we're doing is documenting those changes, and then changes are dramatic. It's estimated that Peru has already lost about 30% of its glacier mass. The World Bank fears that it could totally disappear in the next two decades, leaving Peru without its most vital source of water.